Today's video from Sam Forrest Help. We're taking a look at tax programming on the ER180U register. Um, there's a couple of things that you'll need in order to do this. The first thing sounds silly, but you'll need to know what tax rates you're setting up on the machine. Um, you'll need to know how you want them to apply, and you, what would be really useful is a copy of the manual. So I'm getting all my information from page 45 of the manual. If you haven't got a copy, I recommend downloading one from the sam4shelp.co.uk website. Um, it'll just make my explanation a bit clearer and try and take some of the mystery out of it all. Um, what we're going to do today in this video, that there's, all, there's two steps on these machines to setting up the tax. The first thing we'll do, and we'll cover this in this video, is we're going to set up tax rate one to be twenty percent add in, and tax rate two to be twenty. Uh, sorry, to be five percent add in. When I say add in, that is basically the way the VAT works in the UK. If you're buying in a standard shop, if you buy something for, and the shopkeeper charges you one pound twenty, that is currently made up of one pound of net, and then twenty p of tax. Likewise, if you buy something for a pound. The split is 83p and then plus the 20% or 17p of tax. So that's how we're going to set that up. If you're watching from a different territory or your business works in a different way so you want the till to add the tax on, I will explain that in, in this video, but please don't follow what I do exactly. I'll post a separate video showing you exactly how to set that up. Um, this is the most common way of using the tax on the tills in, in the UK. OK, so yeah, if you've got page 45 of the manual open, I'll explain the flow chart that appears on there and I'll show you the crib sheet I've created in order to to make the tax settings work. After this video, there'll then be another video which shows you how to apply those tax rates to the departments. So this video is setting up tax one and tax two. And my second video will show you how to apply those different tax rates to departments. And then we'll have one showing you the net result of that. So how the uh, tax split appears on the till receipt and on your end of day reports. Okay, so to set, to set tax rate one to be 20%, you need to go into the program mode by pressing six and then mode. The P shown on display means you're in program and then it's 53 followed by subtotal. This is why that page of the manual would be really useful because it will look like I'm just making random numbers up out of, out of the air. But if you've got the manual, this will start to make sense. You then type in the tax rate, um, inputting a decimal point. So you for twenty percent, it's twenty point, and then three zeros. You have to put that in. If you don't put it in, it just errors. If you're looking at the manual, the next thing you're inputting is the answer to question B, which is the VAT included or is the VAT added to the price. So we're doing VAT included because if you sell something through the till for a pound, that is inclusive of our tax. So if that should be the case, you press number two, and then you need to choose the tax rate number. So this is tax rate one. So we pop in one, and then to save our setting, we press X time, followed by the cash 10 button. You get a little receipt print out and that confirms I'll tear it off so you can see it. So you should be able to see that it says tax rate one, twenty percent, and then it's tax kind two, which basically means the tax is included or the VAT is included in the sales price. Um, so we'll now run through that again on tax rate two. So it's a very similar process. This is the crib sheet I've created. Um, so I've basically got that information from the manual and edit it to suit my programming. So for tax rate two. It's 53 subtotal and now instead of 20 we're typing in 5.000 again it's the same type of tax so it's included in the sales price so we press number two and this time instead of one we're pressing two because this is tax rate number two we then press X time followed by cash and we get a similar printout which tells us oh, the tax two is now set to 5%. Okay, once you've set that up, you can then watch the next video, which will be appearing on screen now, which shows you how to apply those tax rates to your different departments. Okay, so please check that out. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel or visit sam4shelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.